Hey, what's up guys and gals and welcome to Rodas Preview. Now, one people could ask, why are you doing previews of albums that are already out? That at least uh, means albums by Odin, uh, the Icelandic band, and Solstabri, also an Icelandic band. Which, by the way, the album came already out Friday. Now, the only one uh, of these albums coming a little bit later, that is uh, in the end of November, is Cadaver. But nevertheless, I'm going to tell you a little bit about these. Uh, I've already previewed at least all of them, and actually Soulstripper I gave a few listens already, but still waiting for the physical copy for actual review. So let me just go quickly through what's going on and why these albums might be for your listening pleasure. Uh, let's start in alphabetical order. So Odin from uh, Iceland is first here. Now this is their third album and I got it like only a couple of days before the actual release date, but I couldn't have the time to listen to it back then. So when I was going through, I, I mean, it was already out late October and I was like, man, this actually sounds good. I got the pleasure to interview the, these guys or well, one of the guys in 2019 at Turku Fest. Uh, so some 18 months ago and um, I had a ple pleasant chat with the band which I already knew only a little bit and while they didn't exactly look the most black metallic on stage at least their music is good and same could be said about this new album which is a little bit hard to uh, pronounce The Good Realm Since Fungi or Fungi well anyway what Eden is doing is exactly well how it says on the metal archives. It's kind of a atmospheric black metal. One could even say it's kind of a third wave of a black metal, given that it's not exactly related to 1990s feeling of what black metal is all about. That is very, very different in terms of how the songs are composed and all that stuff. But what I really like with the band is that when they create this kind of a cool atmosphere, should I say cold atmosphere, is that they maintain the quality overall. So be it about production, be it about vocals, they kind of have this very Icelandic thing going on. And nowadays people who have been following the Icelandic scene pretty much know what to expect. Icelandic bands are very interesting even though quality wise obviously, like I mean any country, you have shifts and turns and ups and downs. But I mean, in my opinion, Odin is definitely one of the better ones out there. So. As such, I am very, very stoked to get this for review. I would definitely, if I was you, that is, to give this album a chance and go already listen to it on your favorite streaming services. Like I said, it's already been out since late October, and I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful to get that for review in coming weeks. The next one, then again, is from Norway. So what I am ex uh, doing here exactly is going through Norway. Nordic countries, Norway and Iceland. So very, very cold manners here. Now the thing here is, where Odin is a new band, Cadaver is exactly a quite old band coming from late 80s with their death metal. Now um, Cadaver was gone for quite a bit until they suddenly decided to do a comeback. Now I personally haven't heard Nick Roses in 2004, or at least I have no real collection whatsoever if I did. But when I was earlier this year going through this EP called DGAF, I wasn't really convinced. To me, it sounded like these guys are like these has-beens, so go back to your cave and don't come back. Sorry to say that, but kind of a mediocre death metal album by old guys. Now this Eder and Bile CD, then again, which I heard just recently, featuring just, just some 30 minutes of uh, old school death metal, sounded so much more fresh I don't know what exactly changed because, I mean, come on, these couldn't have been too much far away from each other when it comes to songwriting and releasing and all that stuff. So something really went a different way for me. So uh, based on my initial release, uh, release that is listening experience with Edder and Bile, I was more like, hey, maybe I still shouldn't be so harsh about the band because this actually sounded rather interesting. Now, to be honest, I have no idea whether or not I'm going to get this for a Review, there has been a little bit of lag with Nuclear Blast releases lately coming here. Maybe due to COVID, I don't know. So I don't even know if I'm going to review this or not, but at least my initial uh, listening with this one was rather interesting. So I kind of hope to get back to it, but 
we'll see about that anyway it's out on 27th of november so still a few weeks to get there but make no mistake be sure to check out this one even if you didn't like the ep like i was a little bit uh, skeptic about it now uh, then we have soul stuff here which isn't anymore so much a metal band like you pretty much can see from this uh, metal like half side of soul Stafir. this band started as the viking black metal band but that has been gone for many 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 years and the band has been more or less post metal post rock depending which album you want to take a look at or talk about now for me the previous album in 2017 this Bedre Yimin uh, Min was the album of the year so I really can't relate to this 77% on average review score in metal, metal archives because for me it was more like 9 out of 10 really really strong and atmospheric melancholic album and while it was definitely more on the kind of a post rocky side towards I mean versus the metal parts with the band has previously for me it is the Soul Stuff Your album which I have liked most so as such being mentioned uh, Endless Twilight of Codependent Love which features kind of an Icelandic cover you'll read about it more on other places uh, I was very much stoked about this album I mean because of that high quality some, some three years ago I was like okay this must be the next big thing now unfortunately it isn't that big a deal with quality wise it's definitely melancholic it's post rockish and it's very very Icelandic and very very soul stuff you like so I can say it's a good album but not as good as the previous one that is just my opinion obviously but yes I would say it's an it's an album that probably doesn't let you down at least if you don't have as high expectations expectations as I did so I'm really happy about to do this a in a proper review video but for the time being I would say since this has been out for a couple of days now go to give it a listen and in case you're just wondering what the hell is all about well it's post rock Icelandic style and the review will follow up later now this quick preview cap I hope some give you some ideas for listening this week or in the coming weeks and maybe you will see some reviews to check out what other news there are coming for you. Take care, my friends, and see you soon next week. More reviews coming your way. Bye-bye.